Hello, Quantum Leap Callers. Happy Thursday. Super excited to leave you a message today. And um, the message today uh, is about noticing our judge. So we all have one. You may have heard it called an internal critic voice or an internal critic. Um, But let's talk about it for a minute because we all have a judge that kind of runs our conversations. And I know you might be thinking, I don't have a judge. That's not like me. But we do. We all do. We have a judge that judges ourselves. That's an internal self-critic when we're hard on ourselves. We also have the judge that judges others. Um, what they could be doing, what they should be doing, what they're not doing, what they, how they're showing up, how they're dressed, how they look, how they act, blah, 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 blah. I mean, on down the road. We, there's so much we can judge others on. And then the third place we judge is judging circumstances, which means that whatever the circumstances are, are not right. And we're judging that. And so um, one of the things to start paying attention to when you start noticing that you judge and all of the places you judge is not noticing what the voice sounds like, noticing what the internal voice sounds like. My, my judge is kind of snarky and sarcastic. <clears throat> um, and yours might be a bit more brutal. Like you may have you know, a voice from your past that shows up as your judge voice of yourself or others or circumstances. The reason you want to pay attention to it is because in noticing that it's your judge, you can give it less power. You can say, oh, wait a second, I know what this is. This is just my judge showing up to judge the things that I'm doing. And then you can make the appropriate shift. Now, sometimes I will talk to people and they're like, oh, I don't don't judge myself, but I definitely judge others. And what I say to those people is, that you may not realize you judge yourself because you are so used to that internal dialogue that is judging and it's so familiar that you don't even recognize it. Because generally, the outside voice that we judge others with or that we speak to others harshly with or however we speak to them in that way, that is a reflection of the internal voice and how we talk to ourselves. Um, So... They, they they go hand in hand. Now, you might be one of those people that say, I don't judge others, but I definitely judge myself harshly. Um, great recognition. And get curious about where the places are that you do judge others. It just might not be as evident to you. And then the sneaky one is really our judgment of circumstances, that whatever it is, is not okay. You might be saying, but there's a lot of not okay things in the world. And I hear you. Um, but judging it from a place of um, of taking ourselves down a path that feels terrible doesn't necessarily support us in being the change action for those things that we would like to be different. We think it does, but we do more from a place of discernment than we do from a place of judgment. We can be, believe it or not, more effective that way. So my invitation for you is just to start noticing the places where you are judging yourself, others, or circumstances, so that you can start to shift that thought process to a different one that serves you better. All right. That's my message for today. Hugs to you. Bye-bye.